Welcome back to The Vocalist. Today, we are listening to Stream of Passion. I have not heard them before, but I recently reacted to Valley of the Queens and said, I want to hear more from Annika and Marcella, and you guys hooked me up. So today, we are listening to Marcella Bovio when she was in Stream of Passion. Um, this is a 2016 performance of Out in the Real World. Here we go. her as a soloist in this because in Valley of the Queens, I mean, you could still hear that her gorgeous tone, but I think more than anything, I was noticing how well she sort of morphed her voice and transformed it in order to, to match her duet partner. Um, I'm going to go back to the beginning, but um, what's striking me right away is um, sort of the head resonance that she's incorporating in her mix. Like, I would describe this as a very head-dominant mix voice. Um, it's so seamless and so smooth, but it has just this beautiful, like, youthful quality to it. And of course, and I love, I think, in all kinds of symphonic metal, I don't know exactly what this, um, how this band is classified, but just hearing, like, this big rock sort of, like, exciting instrumental and then this just ethereal like sound in the, someone's voice i think it's just such a cool like contrast That was, I, I noticed that the first time when she like flipped into head voice. Of course, I'm also mesmerized by just how calm and collected she is, even when the beat starts to pick up. I'm gonna see if I can find that again. back but I love at the end of that phrase how she used some straight tone because it just when you've got that gorgeous like head resonance and a slightly more classical sound like finding moments to to eliminate that and to to match like the music that she's singing I just I don't know I just I am 
falling like deeper and deeper in love with anything that resembles symphonic metal because I just think it's so it's very cool but it's also just so fascinating like the way these singers um sort of maneuver the music and still like maintain a classical sound at times and then other times not I just uh, so many things <laughs> thing one really cool trick about um moving back and forth between you know any sort of head registration and then like more of a mix registration is that in this case you can hear she's got a little bit more forward placement a little bit more nasal resonance in her mix and that's so stinking smart because it's a much easier transition and a much smoother transition into head voice as opposed to making like these really big beefy guttural sounds and then um transitioning into head so i just i really like the way she's she's maneuvering like the upper part of her range like fuller a little bit a darker sound and you can even see in her face like creating those taller vowels here too because it's all very low and very subdued and she's able to play a little bit more with her voice and it got a little bit more conversational a little bit more speech like um and so but she was able to do that because she wasn't you know competing with a lot of sound behind her it was very like supportive but um yeah just a little a little bit more in the background in this instance let me back it up it may seem, uh... should never the sound she made on R.
perfectly her speaking voice matches her singing voice. I adore that. I just love how relaxed she was throughout that whole song. Like, obviously, she was into it and she was performing, but it was just so chill so that, like, there was no tension. Nothing was, you know, hindering her vocal production. Um... And that one note, I mean, we heard kind of snippets of of that similar color throughout, but I think just, I feel like she probably has quite the range that I haven't seen yet. I almost watched a performance with her in the, with the group Mayan, but there were so many vocalists in that performance that I feel like I need to like really dedicate to researching each one of them before I watch that for now anyway. It was so lovely to hear her on her own. That way I could just sort of pick up on some of the nuances that I might have missed because she was singing with another singer. Anywho, that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for this recommendation and for watching with me and hopefully I will see you next time.